Well, prayer, prayerfully, uh, this week will be a beautiful week and we'll have good weather and it'll uh, bring us into some springtime uh, looking weather, you know? Yes. All right. Well, here we are. We're live. I want to go ahead and say good morning to those of you that are here on this Zoom session with me. And of course, I want to say good morning to those of you that are tuned in through the internet, whether you're watching on Facebook Live or you're watching as it's been posted on YouTube. We thank you for taking some time out to be with us in fellowship, praying with us. And of course, we praise God that he is sovereign, he is providential, and he has knowledge of our praises and prayers before we have words uh, to form them. I just want to let you know that uh, you can join with us for a time of common prayer on Monday mornings at 10 a.m. All you simply have to do is use the Zoom session ID number and zoom in and or you can uh, call in through our call-in number. Uh, we've made that number available on almost every weekly video. Uh, I think today we'll make it known one more time. And then what I'll start doing with our sessions is I'll start them out with the video. We'll start out with the, um, with the phone number and the meeting ID right there on the screen for you. Uh, Edward, I don't know if you happen to have your bulletin handy. If you do, can, yes, you, do. can you share the uh, call-in number? Yes, six four six. Five five eight eight six five six. Okay, we'll have that number memorized soon. So uh, six, I think I already do. Uh, six four six five five eight. What was the last four? Eight, eight six, six five six. Eight six five six. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for those of you that have called in. Uh, we look forward to always increasing our fellowship and our focus on the Lord. Uh, here we are for our time of common prayer. The month of February is the month wherein we focus on reconciliation. And uh, that has to do with, obviously, our reconciliation to God through Jesus Christ, reconciliation to one another through forgiveness. And also, uh, we see our society reconciling different areas of, of things that need to be fixed, uh, may, whether it be racism, whether it be uh, war and, and strife in that regard, um, hatred, all these different areas of uh, of necessary reconciliation, uh, we pray and we praise God for uh, what we do see taking place. Uh, with that, I'll go ahead and bring us in on our time of common prayer. As, may, as we had just previously noted, today is the official birthday of former President George Washington. So uh, let's praise God, of course, for the freedoms that we enjoy here in America. Let's pray for our presidents. And uh, I'm sure all of that will come to mind as we move through our time of common prayer. O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. My heart is firmly fixed, O oh God. My heart is fixed. And I've asked Edward to go ahead and share our psalm, Psalm 108, verses 2 through 6. Awake, sultry and heart. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O oh Lord, among the people and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy, that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. My heart is firmly fixed, O God. My heart is firmly fixed. My heart is firmly fixed, O oh God. My heart is firmly fixed. Catherine de Hook Dougherty, founder of the Madonna House community, wrote, the hunger for God can only be satisfied by a love that is face to face, person to person. It is only in the eyes of another that we can find the icon of Christ. We must make the other person aware we love him or her. If we do, he or she will know that God loves him. He, will, he or she will never hunger again. And with that, we'll go ahead and open for our time of corporate praise and prayer, uh, whether Kathy or Vicki. Uh, Kathy, would you like to go ahead and start our time? And then Vicki, sure. I'll you follow. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Right, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the rain that's not too heavy that we have anything to do. We are able to get where we have to go. Thank you for giving me wisdom what to do about the car as far as the insurance company is concerned by getting the fender fixed. Thank you, especially for Rita today, 
She has very, very bad burns from the radiation, and it's oozing, and it's really bad, and she was up all night with pain. So, Father, just give her the strength. She has two more treatments, and and that she can get through this, Father, to go on to her total healing. Thank you for Gavin, too, that he's still going through the chemo. Take care of him. Thank you for... Um, for uh, Cookie's mom, that she'll be able to see her, that they open the nursing homes for visitation. And thank you for um, um, my friend Matt from school. Her sister's in the hospital. Her sister has the virus. So just from going to the hospital, so just take care of her and heal her, and that she'll get home quickly. And we'll be glory to you, Father, for her healing. Thank you for all our members, for those who weren't there yesterday and all those who haven't been in a while, for taking care of their lives and taking care of them. Thank you especially for Karen, Father. She had to go for a blood test today. Thank you they can find out what's wrong with her legs. It's, it's been so long and so so draining. It's like two years already almost, Father, that they can find what's causing a problem. Thank you for me that I have to make a doctor's appointment on Wednesday, that they can get my blood pressure down, they can regulate it for the... It's crazy just changing appointments and not, not showing how you're healing, how you're feeling inside if you don't have the right medication to take for the problem. Thank you for, um, Pastor, for all the services he's given to us and for all the blessings that we have through his sermons, especially on, on the Sunday ones. And thank you for me that I continue to read Acts this week, that I keep motivated to give that time and regulate my day, that I have time to do the do the things that are most prevalent for in my life. Thank you for uh, Vicky. Good luck with selling her house and that she um, is able to take care of the things she has to do with packing and all of that. And thank you for the uh, attic. Uh, pop-up shop that that goes well on Saturday and thank you for all of us having a good week and that's, that's it Father thank you for all these things and I claim them in Christ Jesus name Amen Amen, Amen. Vicki would you like to share your praises and prayers yes uh, I want to to lift up the story that uh, Sandy, and, Sandy and, uh, Brian and Brian share with us about about Brian's brother, that uh, that Lord, you will continue to give them the wisdom to go about solve, helping helping his brother to solve the problem. And uh, I want to thank you, Lord, that uh, you have you you have had protected protected us over the, this uh, wicked virus that. Um, is infecting our nation and um um uh, oh, uh, i i just want to ask for for prayer that uh, you will discipline my life when it comes to reading the bible or studying the bible and that i want to let you know dear lord that uh, i have a great desire uh to love your word and and, and make application in my everyday living. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 Edward, would you like to go ahead and share? Yes, yeah, Heavenly Father, thank you for the Blue Point Bible Church, <clears throat> for the online community, the extended family. Um, I just pray that everyone is edified, and, and, and I would like to thank everyone for taking out this morning you know, to lift up our Lord in uh, praise and prayer as well, you know, yes, and, and participating in this common prayer first thing in the morning, which is a very good thing. Amen. And uh, I'd just like to thank and praise him for waking me up and giving me good health. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Um, if I might just, I'm, again, I want to praise God for the Lent season, uh, for the opportunity for <clears throat> us to be uh, examining ourselves, uh, growing and challenging ourselves. 
Um, I've been participating in Lent Madness, and it's a, an exciting way to learn church history. So I'm, I'm praising God for that. Um, of course, praising God for Blue Point Bible Church and our membership and, and the diligence and the heart to worship God that is found within us. Um, I want to lift up prayers, specific prayers, yes, for, um, for Brian's brother, Kevin, and uh, his friend, Jerry, and all that they have going on. Um, I want to lift up prayers for Sandy's family as well. Uh, another thing that, that's been impressed upon my heart lately is the unspoken prayers of the saints. Uh, we all have them. Whether we say that we have unspoken prayers or not, we all have them. So I, I want to acknowledge that, and I want to lift up the unspoken prayers that are found in our midst of our congregation and uh, entrust them to God and look forward to and praise God for testimony that will come and uh, answered prayer that will come. Uh, matter of fact, today I'm praising God that uh, today's the day last year that my brother's dog had been returned to him uh, after being stolen. So uh, definitely answered prayer in that regard. Um, you know, this morning I was able to wake up to the newspaper where, you know, I have it saved in my phone and sure enough, every day of, you know, it'll bring me back to last year. And it had a blue point man, uh, has dog returned and truck returned. So praising God for that, uh, praising God for my brother and praying for him as well. And, uh, lastly, the last prayer request I'll make mention of would be, um, the man that led me to Christ. He's going through a sort of job transition right now. And he could surely use uh, some prayers. He had reached out to me recently. Praise God for those that reach out to us and ask us to pray and thank us for our influence in their lives as well. And um, so I just want to pray for him specifically, Brother Paul, and uh, I lift these things up for the glory of God and the edification of the saints in and through the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, with that, we'll go ahead into a recitation of the Our Father. Again, I always encourage people, you can recite the Fulfilled Our Father, as we do here at the Blue Point Bible Church. You can recite the traditional Our Father, or you can simply follow along in thought and uh, pray with us. Our Father, Lord, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom has come. Your will has been done. On earth, it is in heaven. You have given us our daily bread and have forgiven our trespasses as we continue to those who trespass against us. You have led us not into temptation, but have delivered us from evil. For yours are the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Before I ask, uh, well, I'm going to share the daily reflections for highly effective people, and then I'm going to have Edward share with us the daily bread. But one thing I wanted to make mention also. Um, my audio book, I received an email early this morning that my audio book just needs to be uh, some, some little changes here and there, and then I have to resubmit the files. So please pray with me that it won't take that long for them to submit uh, or to release the audio book to uh, Amazon and Aud audio Audible and all these different platforms. Uh, please just pray along with me in that regard. Uh -huh. And here for February 22nd, the daily reflection for highly effective people is this. Many people seem to think that success in one area can compensate for failure in other areas of life. But can it really? Perhaps it can for a limited time in some areas. But can success in your profession compensate for a broken marriage, ruined health, or weakness in personal character? True effectiveness requires balance. Mm -hmm. And Edward, I'll ask you to go ahead and share our daily bread for this morning. Sure. Our daily bread for Monday, February 22nd, like Jesus. As a boy, theologian Bruce Ware was frustrated that um, 1 Peter 2, 21 through 23 calls us to be like Jesus. Ware wrote of his youthful ex explorations exasperations in his book The Man Christ Jesus. Not fair I determine, especially when the passage says to follow in in the steps of the one who did no sin. This was totally outlanded. I just couldn't see how God could really mean for us to take it seriously. I understand why where would find such a biblical challenge so daunting. An old 
chorus says, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, my desire to be like him. But as we're rightly noted, we are in, incapable of doing that. Let, left to ourselves, we can never become like Jesus. However, we're not left to ourselves. The Holy Spirit has been given to the child of God in part so that Christ can be, can, can be formed in us. So it should come as no surprise that in Paul's great chapter on the spirit would we read, for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. God will see his work completed in us, and he does it through the spirit of Jesus living in us. As we yield to the spirit's work in us, we truly become more like Jesus. How comforting to know that God's uh, great desire for us. What a tribute of the spirit of, what a tribute of the fruit of the spirit would you like to live out to a, great, a greater degree? What will help you to do so? Father, I long to be more like your son, but so often fall short in word, thought, and deed. Forgive me and help me to yield to the work of your spirit so that Jesus may be formed in me. Amen. I'll go ahead and share uh, our devotion from Max Lucado's God is with you every day. And the title today is That Kind of Faith. Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You'll look a long time before you find a better man than Wes Bishop. He had a quick smile, warm handshake, and serious weakness for ice cream. He was a pillar in the small Texas town of Sweetwater. He raised three great sons, one of whom married my daughter, Jenna. Wes never even missed a day of work until he was diagnosed with brain cancer. We asked God to remove it. For a time, it appeared that he had, but then the symptoms returned with vengeance. In the matter of a few weeks, Wes was immobilized at home in hospice care. The sons took turns keeping vigil so their mom could rest. They placed a baby monitor next to Wes's bed. Though he'd hardly spoken a word in days, they wanted to hear if he called out. One night he did, but he didn't call for help. He called for Christ. About one o'clock in the morning, the youngest son heard his father on the monitor. Jesus, I want to thank you for my life. You've been so good to me. And I want you to know when you're ready to take me, I am ready to go. Those were the final words Wes spoke. Within a couple of days, Jesus took him home. I want that kind of faith, don't you? The faith that turns God into the dark, turns to God in the darkest hour, praises God with the weakest body, the kind of faith that trusts in God's promises. Amen. Well, that about concludes our time of prayer and devotion this morning. I want to go ahead and before I bring us into our closing prayer and benediction, did anybody have anything that you'd like to uh, lift up in prayer or thought or comment? Bless you for the people of Texas, Father. We should, I forgot to lift them this morning. Yes, amen. Amen. Okay, well, go ahead and bring us to our time of close here. Our closing prayer, Lord God, extend our faith. So that even when we fail to see the fruit of our planted seeds, we may have the assurance that every inch of soil overturned will lead to a harvest someday. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders that he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Go in Thank peace. you, Pastor. Have a day. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Have a good week, everybody. Bye-bye, Pastor. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.